Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Wizards Baseball. I'm Kevin the Wizard. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, you should definitely smash that like button as if it's a meatball right down the middle. We're some into September call-ups, um, uh, seeing when that is. Um, because I just take I just took a look at the standings and we've pretty much clinched the division already, so we're pretty much just filling our time and there's a lot of uh, just teams we've played a thousand times, so I don't know if September call up is like at the He's beginning of September. Show. Okay. Here's your host, Justin Allegri. It's the first day of September, the final full month of the regular season, and that, of course, means rosters have been expanded. Major League teams can now carry 28 players, so we'll be seeing some fresh faces making their debuts in today's games. But before that all gets underway, here's what happened in the final day of August. Starting in the National League West, the Colorado Rockies pitched well, okay. allowing only three hits September as they grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington, 4-1. to one. The Dodgers combined to give up just five hits as they took down the visiting Braves, 5-2. The Mets grabbed 13 hits in the game as they walked off to an extra inning win against the Marlins, 5-3. Okay. I did not Ian process Happ that. Let me day, take a look at the... Philadelphia dispose of the Nationals, 7-4. His modest hitting streak was also extended to five straight games. Paul DeYoung launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total, helping lead the Cards past Cincinnati, 8-4. Michael Franco plated four runs with three hits on the day as the Orioles downed the Blue Jays 5-4. Rich Hill grabbed win number nine this year, leading Tampa Bay over the Red Sox 3-2. Adam Eaton had a home run and three RBIs, helping the White Sox to defeat the Pirates 6-1. The Tigers knocked out 12 hits as a team as they grabbed the win against That's the visiting like Athletics 4-1. The Kansas City Royals pitched well, allowing only three hits as they got the best of the Spiders, so one to nothing. The Cubs held the opposition at bay with only four hits as they defeated the Twins in the Twin Cities, 5-2. Taylor Cole won his fourth game thus far, helping lead the Angels to the win Clifford. over the Yankees, 5-2. The Houston Astros totaled 13 hits as a team as they bested the Mariners, 8-3. And that's the show on this first day of September. It should be a fun day of watching all the newly minted major leaguers making their debuts. And don't forget to listen in tomorrow to see how they did. All right, now that that guy's done talking, we can think a little bit. Um, this guy is... A call-up? Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. I'm familiar with who this guy is. I'm glad he's called up. Let's play him in the next one. You know what? He's going to be in left field. Um, sorry to Barry, but he can sacrifice a day. Um, okay. Is there anybody else I wanted to call up? This guy? Yeah, we'll call him up too because he's one of my prospects and I want to see how he can do in um, the playoffs and I think that's what September call-ups is. So... That's what I'm doing. I'm locking it in. Which means we should I, I, I kind of wanted to play Seattle. Um, I'm not sure if I wanted to play at home or if I wanted to play on the road because Seattle. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go to my birthday and uh, happens to be a Dodger game. So, you know what? I'm always in store for a good Dodger game. If you're new, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. I put out new franchise Wizards videos day, week, daily. Not on the weekends. I'm sorry. I can't keep up with the demand. <laughs> but, uh... 
we got Zach Allen on the mound, and I said I was going to start some new guys, some prospects. Um, Gavin Lux is one of those, technically, even though I'm finding out that he's not as much of a prospect anymore as he once was, because he's now becoming just a player, a known player. Um, grabbing some headlines. Can you play first base? No. Can you play first base? No. Can you play first base? Yes, you're a catcher. Um, but I don't know if you're a prospect. You're 26. Yeah, you're not a prospect. Um, Paven Smith. Oh, he's a first baseman. Should I sub out Pete Alonso for Paven Smith? Is he... A prospect? He's 25. We'll give it to him. Alright, let's go. Uh, Paven Smith was hurt in the warm-ups? You're kidding me. It was not meant to be, I guess, but... Can you play first base? No, you can play second. I think you could play first base for a night. Now we'll put a Pete Alonso in there. He's our starter. Alright, let's go. Let's go. On delay. And a welcome inside Dodger Stadium here in Los Angeles. Today, we've got a matchup of playoff hopefuls in the same division between the Wizards and the Los Angeles Dodgers. With the postseason just around the corner, the battle for the division reaches a fever pitch coming up next. Oh, yeah. Trevor Bauer gets the start for Los oh. Angeles in this one. Dan okay. Pulisic, what's the word on him? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. And one of the things he does, he throws outs. the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Now at the plate, here is Mookie Betts. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Very good. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. As it should be. Uh, 23. Almost First offering the bats. on its way. And this pitch just about not as good as it could be. As he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Zero, I'm thinking about moving Barry to the top of the lineup afternoon. next They're season. Nice I might even do it for the playoffs. Um, yeah, I'm Matt, thinking about moving Barry to today because this team's playing well. All the top of the lineup. And Mookie bets to like number five, the side today, and, they're gonna have to jump and seeing on how that works, and uh, Mookie might get more home runs. We'll see. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Now a slider is swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is set down to open wow, up the ball that's game. Rude. It's always that nice is to straight keep a guy that rude. has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Come on, Fernando. What you got? What you got? Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. The average right at Iconic coming in. rivalry Rings right here. Fernando Tatis Jr. and Trevor Bauer. The 
wind up and the 0 1. I'm glad to have brought that to the Wizards. Um, I was thinking about not even having Fernando Tatis on the Wizards. I was thinking about just leaving him on the Check Padres the this time around. around. But no, then the, the Padres one, posted one. on Instagram and they said, in the captions, they said, Fernando, in case you forgot, Into the, corner and the quote is, foul. quote, Those in case you forgot, Fernando Tatis is a Wizard, as an end quote. Player. I know it's easy sitting up here in the booth call. They said it themselves, like in real life. So, so I was like, okay, that's all the justification burn, I need. However, right I've there. seen uh, the Ant Ortiz, uh, shout out by the way, on YouTube. Uh, Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. And he's he done a career sim on Fernando Tatis, and it does not run, go well in MLB 21 the show, so one. I'm a little nervous this about that. But I am playing Fernando Tatis at the same time. But the regression in this game is no joke. Um, so I'm very nervous about that. So I'm thinking about moving him to like third base or first base um, in a few years. And we'll see how that works. We'll see if maybe... Both it helps. And outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. Here's Nolan Arenado. He comes into this one sixth in the National League in home runs. Boy, one of the top home run hitters in all of baseball, though Dero only one home run in this last 10 games. Yeah, hasn't hit for much damage lately. Nope. Kind of expanding his zone, but look for him to get hot again. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Don't want to forget about him. Fouled away. Wizards. One and one. Here it is. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Ready with the 1-2. Oh, come on. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside Dang the zone it. that time, and that puts an end to the inning. All right. Zach Gallen starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Still no balls and two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate the challenge reason. pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. All right, so it turns out this is going to be a pitching duel tonight. Welcome to it, September pitching duel battle between Wizards and the Dodgers. Thank you, Dodgers. Hey, Matty, yeah, it's been a tough series so far, d -Row. They've yeah, lost the first two, two nail biters, two close Heck games, you, low Dodgers. scoring games. They'd like to turn that fortune around here today. Yeah, but from a manager's that perspective, hurts. Dan, all you can ask that's for is job. effort, and that's what this Corey. team's given them. They took it on the chin, first Seager. two games, one run losses. They'll bounce back today. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. d -Row, what's the word on this lineup as they go for the series sweep? 
Matt, you take a look at. Uh, we'll have to leave it Let's there go. as the play is made for the third out. Dodgers down in order, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Now at the plate, Gavin Lux. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. By the way, the day I'm recording this. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. In real life, Gavin, not Gavin Lux, sorry. <laughs> Jake Cronenworth hit an inside the park home run. Let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And, let's focus and Fernando on Tatis Seager. for the Cal first Ripley time Jr. ever Anyone? This in his career looks like this spitting image of Iron in the MLB I think he's number just four scratching the surface of a Clean Hall up. of Fame career he had a day gloves, you name it Corey Seager is on fire up next the power bat of Pete four. Alonso is two doubles a homer a bad one there it's strike it's this is an awesome matchup, especially at this moment in time. You got some guys that are fighting for some serious hardware, and I want to see how it's this amazing. shakes out. We're facing the Rockets. Figures. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left. Pollock is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Here now is Will Smith. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Lifetime against this pitcher. Oh, look at this! Let's go! Wow! Pete Alonso. Oh, that's a tough play, but he pulled it off perfectly. Once he made the great stop, Let's still had to go. make a good feed to the pitcher covering, which isn't easy on routine grounders sometimes. Hard not to appreciate Perfect. that one. Perfect. Um, one more time, one more time, one more time. All right, sorry. Digging in will be Edwin Gotta respect Rios. the hustle, okay? I'm building and a thumbnail up here. Oh! Ran in and got him. Ouch, well, this home crowd didn't also, like this that's something before, I do on my own anyway. Really I just like that. Like He's gotten the baseball all worked up by like, hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes it's around natural to score. for me. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back under you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Nope. Two balls and a strike. Two balls. Rios leads off first with one away. All even now, two and two. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, 
The old push to throttle and pull it is being used. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Fouled off. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back-to-back -back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Another one sent foul. Oh, almost caught looking to end the inning, but it's called ball two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. Go. And that will retire the side. One left for L.A. We'll move to the third with no score. So to get his day started at the All plate, right. Gary Here he is. trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. First offering on its way. Looped out toward third. And this will be no problem over at third. And there's the first out. Next to him right. is Well, Zach that was Gallen. less than impressive. <laughs> first pitch on its way. I love everything this pitcher's got Should working have right now. That. He's got presence. He's got great oh body God. language on the mound. He's got fastball command. I hope he still hack at the like button. For his off -speed stuff. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now batting the right field. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. From the stretch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the Come game. Come on, Mookie. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And rarely do you see a player of this caliber Mookie. fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Too it's so hard to hit when you're behind the count. Come on. Too, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. And, and that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Gallon leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fast. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Okay. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Barnes is widely considered one of the elite backstops in the game, of course. His skills behind the plate are well documented. And in a position like catcher, that makes a big difference for his team every night he straps it on. And for obvious reasons. And he allows the pitching staff to throw any pitch, any count, knowing they can bounce that breaking ball and feel like it's coming right back to him. This guy, he is really one of the special defenders in our sport. All right, all right. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order, digging in. A.J. Pollock struck out in his first at-bat. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1 pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Come on. Fouled away. And another foul ball. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Can't find the zone there. Come on, swing at that. Hey, this has been an epic what the heck? right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe oh get a swing God. and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full what count. The heck? 
And here's the 3-2 from him. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Alonzo camps under it Let's and go. he's got it for route number two. Jeez, that was a battle. Next for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. In there, 0 and 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers leave one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Yeah, that guy's still at prospect level, I think. Stepping in once again is Mike Trout. He went down on strikes in I think his I'll keep him in AAA back. because yeah, I don't want to just rot either, him on the man. bench. Gotta find a way. Can't go down three I'm talking next season. I'll keep him for postseason and to find a way to make September. this picture work a little bit harder. Owen won the count. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time Mike today, Trout. he's Come gone on. on strikes. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's throwing. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant. He's a great pitcher. You know what? Sometimes pitching beats hitting. You know? And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. We got... And he really just a battle here because this at bat it's the Wizards the versus the wizard himself he belongs on the wizards but uh and he gets him to swing through that one he's in control oh and just uh doesn't feel right discipline has just been completely absent from this but talent wise seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone so he chased out of the strike zone on that one nolan arenado goes down for out number two in the top half out in front of it strike one Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Just a tick behind for a strike. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. There's a swing and a what? high blast headed for the Come corner on. right. And that nearly oh, would have gotten him sucks. on the board. Instead, it's a long that foul sucks. ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will wow. do it. Not impressed. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak as the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year, Corey Seager, settles in to start things out. Corey Seager is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger, grounded out in his last at bat. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball's in there Cody for strike Bellinger one. Cody Bellinger is just another dynamic player. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Hey, Splinky, we'll thanks for tuning numbers, in with his point, baseball. You see, he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all day long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that Yo, Char, shot intact Char, going Char, forward. But I'm Char, not Char. betting against him. Charmander's my favorite. In now, Edwin Rios. Oh. Line drive, fair ball down the line. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Just an absolute laser that time. Wizards are, Wizards are your favorite Show Pokemon. Tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by.
Charizard is a wizard fan. I love it. Stand in now. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the play. Heck, the Dodgers, am I right? Oh, for one for him here in this one. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, yeah, heck preferably off the corners, and get your team away. So two on with two away, and here's Matt Beatty to hit now. Big swing, and this one's launched to right uh -oh. field and deep. Uh oh. And this ball is gone. Dang it. No chance to make a play on that one. Three Please. run home run down the line and right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm clapping. The season for him, and the Dodgers have now Boo. taken a three nothing <laughs> lead. Oh man. We'll get him though. Don't you worry. Drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Now So here's Austin Barnes. Swing and a liner. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Yeah, Mookie Betts uh, from LA. Whoa. Whoa. So is Gavin Lux the second baseman. Second, Whoa. With that, the side is retired. But the Dodgers strike for three all courtesy that was exciting. of the three run, that home run. run. We played four. It's now three nothing Los Angeles. Oh, Will Smith is also from LA as well. Still him. They're two OP, okay? That's why I hate them. They suck. So here's Pete Alonso. Heck them. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that. We're supposed so to be the OP ones. Be on to open the frame. And sometimes when you're down like they are, you've got to find a way to spark your offense any way you can. Now they've got the leadoff men on base and the starter working from the stretch. We'll see if this ignites them a little bit. All right, thanks for stopping by, Spinky. Into the box, Will Smith. Heck, the Dodgers. A line Let's go. Let's field. go. That's for you, Spoinky, before you. All right. And he'll pull into second That's here with nobody out. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove. Promised you offense. You're getting offense. Standing in now, Gary Waters. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside. It's like I wanted one. the Dodgers to score. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard. Or a flame. But it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Well, should be 2-0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go we after can. that one. Right. And it's even 1-1. One one. I understand wanting to be aggressive, but I also understand that you can occasionally be foolish. That's a foolish swing right there. This guy's been struggling to find his own, and you might have just bailed him out. The one two. This is flared right back over the mound. Taylor with a bare hand. What a Come on, please. Damn. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy over to third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Zach Gallen. He singled first time up. Yeah, he showed well, we like a little one. prowess with the bat right there, Dan. We'll I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. No balls in one strike. Bunt attempt, but that'll bounce foul. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Now a bunt attempt here. Beatty is there and he makes the catch for the out. That was a deep bunt. Top of the lineup, stepping in, Mookie Betts. Come on, Mookie. You gotta. You gotta be fresh, Mookie. No pressure, though. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Wait for your pitch. Smith at third with two away. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Oh, 
protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Just stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Lying toward the alley in left center. That gets down and the inning oh. will continue. And the run will score clutch, for Mookie, third to clutch. make this a three to two ball game. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball deal right there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. At the plate now, Fernando Tatis Jr. A pitch out, the throw. Well, I like how he like tripped. That was a good animation. And try as he might, but he can't escape the tag there, and Dang the inning it. is over. So they get a couple of Dang runs it. on he two tried. hits, no errors, really and no one left aboard. Last half of the fifth coming up. Dodgers drum. out in front, three to two. So here's the Dodgers pitcher, Trevor Bauer. Good. Start the inning off with the pitcher. That's how I like it. I just wish I could put him on the thirds. Here's the first pitch. But if if uh and here's a ball hit in the air. Bats on the run. And no one can get there. It's a if foul. If the thing ball. isn't on Mookie, Another there'll be a ring off, under him. So Nothing won't work that good. And the pitch. Yeah, not much of an effort there as he'll look at strike three called. And on three pitches, he's your first Where'd out the crowd of the go? The left Next up, the Los Angeles, out for a second. AJ Pollard. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Fouled off. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. A swing and a ground ball to third. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now back. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. In there, no balls and a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Scooped up. Throw on to first, gets it. Yeah, the bring it to the chest. Player. That's good One, baseball. Two, three, go the Dodgers. That's how you and feel the ball, Fernando. That's textbook. Game. That is. And, and three to two. Trevor Bauer. Fernando Tatis. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now. 0 and 2. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Behind 0-2 now. 3 twos are scored here in inning number six. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Next, it'll be Nolan Arenado. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And now pitch on the way. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1 in today's game with velocity and exploding breaking stuff. You have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. So he goes back. To I back agree. The same. But we'll have to press pause is that strike. I just want to cross them all. Hit the cross the like button. <laughs> And the subscribe button. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He's lined out and flied out in two plate appearances. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Back goes Come on, Mookie, Betts please. Please, Mookie. See you later over the wall. Not fast of home enough. Run. A solo home run for Corey Seager. 29 home runs for him on the year, and it's going to give the Dodgers a 4 to 2 lead. Boo. Boo. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just Boo. happened. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Oh, and look out as this runs in and Ooh. gets him. The oh, second so sorry. Man is Did that in slip? This one. Well, when you hear people talk about the unwritten rules of baseball, I think we just saw a perfect <laughs> example of that. You hit one of mine, and I'm going to hit one of yours. Always been that way and probably always will be, even though they've tried to crack down on that kind of stuff recently. Into the box now. Edwin Rios in the air down the line in left. Left fielder giving chase. And he makes the catch in the corner. And stepping in, Cole Calhoun. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waters is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Matt Beatty will stride in again as first we flash him back to his at bat in the fourth inning and what a big one it was a three run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point swing and a high chopper over to the right side throw on to second let's go just barely got him though retired. that was not a good call but one for the okay. Dodgers on the solo home run the five no, not let's go. As in, inning ready yeah, to roll. let's go. And as in, next will be Gavin let's Lux. go, boys. Always a tall four task two. trying to rally back in let's the late innings, it. but I think this game could still Six, turn four. quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. Let's tire him strike. out oh and one. so that we can get any deck, other pitcher. But it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. There now is Pollock, and he's got it for the first out. Up next, Pete Alonzo. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bellinger's under it. Boo. And he makes the catch for the second. Boo. 
Next up, Will Smith. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the AB on its way. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Maybe, Hey, after perhaps. that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0-2. Step out, deep breath, adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin. But we'll leave it right there as he strikes Dang. out, and that ends the inning. Right. And now here is Austin Barnes. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what they yeah, saw right there. Nice. Maybe the first base coach was giving him the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. No balls and a strike to count. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 0 2. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another one, too. We've got ourselves an awesome battle going on right here. Bottom line, the guy who's going to win this situation is the guy who executes. Fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. He is laid off, and the count runs full. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. They're probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And that at bat will put a smile on any manager's face. The pitch total of the posing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Justin Turner will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch coming, here it is. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Comes set with the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Waters comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. One gone Let's now in the L.A. seventh AJ. and up next the center fielder A.J. Pollock first pitch on its way ground ball sent back up the middle a step on the bag for one relay to first in time Let's and just go. like that the side is retired so nothing happening this time around we'll look ahead to ending number eight now Dodgers lead this one four to two. Tommy Kingley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do Let's so to go. start the eighth. That's what we needed. Ready to begin Somebody the pitch eighth, that wasn't and at the Trevor play will be the speedy outfielder, Gary Waters. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Let's go. And this is going to be through into center field. Nice single kid. That is the leadoff man's aboard in the eight. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Is Waldo will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. 
Now the fastball is swung on and missed. The numbers on the year 272. No home runs as of yet. 10 RBIs. And the runner back. Pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. The 1-1 one -one home is swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. And this will pop over the wall, but the run will score. Man, this guy is a blur on the base pass, Danny. He was really motoring around the bases. I think he had every intention of stretching that one into a triple. He definitely has oh, the wheels, but the ball bouncing over for an automatic oh, double did. put an end to any of those kind of thoughts. And he'll dive back in safely. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands the zone. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Look at that. Wow, cold. that's the case right there where pitcher knows this guy's up there. He's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. So now to the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. And he fouls this one off. He's got a hit in three at bats Wait. to this point. Spin and a throw back to second. And now they've got him in a rundown. And he is in there at third as the possible tie. Let's go! Run. That was nice. Hard on the ground towards short. Fielded cleanly. Pro gets him for the second out, but meanwhile the tying run is Let's in go. the score. It's a tie game, folks. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. Next to hit, Mike Trout. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Again, another foul ball. Here's the 0 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Both teams with six hits so far. And a strikeout here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four hmm. strikeouts. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we are tied 4-4. Should we leave the position player on the mound in a tie game against the Dodgers? Hmm. Um, no. Weaver is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. And now in the box, Chris Taylor. He grounded out last time. We're up. not the twins. Checks win, <laughs> called strike 0 oh and 1. If you've seen the name, if you watch John Boy, if you follow him, he'll be good. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Try to jump on. Bouncer to the left side. Throw to first is in time for the Let's first go. Out. Easy peasy. Ground balls, that's what we like to see out of the Dodgers. Bounce softly in front of the plate. And that's the second out. That is another thing we like to see, dribblers. 
We'll take so those out of the Dodgers. And uh, now stepped in Cody Bellinger. Four for eight. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Line shot to oh. third, and oh, the side God. is retired. Dodgers down in order. Nolan Arenado. tied at four. That man is a vacuum and a cannon. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here comes the first pitch, and we kick off the ninth inning with mm, a swinging strike here, nothing in one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget oh. <laughs> thus far. Four strikeouts. Final line there for the Dodgers starting pitcher, and he'll be very happy with how the day went. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. The batter will be Gavin Lux. Now he sends a high deep drive toward the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he misses with it one and one. And it's one and two. Come on, Gavin Lux. Fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. Could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Next, here is Pete Alonso. 0 for 3 today, but currently near the top of the home run standings. It's safe to say he's had a tremendous year overall at the plate. He has had a tremendous year. Hasn't gotten the results today. Still one AB left. Where's he stand in the standings? That's what I, I want to know. He's proud of the numbers he's putting up. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. And he's safe at first, so a costly Let's mistake go. on the drop third barely. strike as now the inning will continue. And not what he wanted to do there is now the like only four outs to get out of this inning. Marcus Stroman has been summoned here and will try to keep this one That's tied heading like to the like bottom to of the ninth. Four seventy six. Will Smith will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. <laughs> hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Come on, come on, please. Flip will go to Taylor in second for the force, and the inning is over. Now with the plate is Edwin Rios. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater, middle cut right there. In a fastball count, he's going to have to turn it up a notch. Into the windup, and here comes the 0 2 pitch. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. Another 0 and 2 coming. Fouled away. You can do it. Going 
Good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Told you. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Cole Calhoun stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. Another 0-2 home. That's a Beatles song. I can't tell you which one though. Right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive. Oh, get me. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Matt Beatty stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Game on the line here and a ball. Yeah, well, the people who make this place explode. Chased a low ball there, yeah, and he's down. quickly he's down in the count, 0-2. Great pitch in that situation. If he ones. makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. And no problem with that one as we are headed for extra innings. One left for That's LA. right. That's Still why we put Luke Weaver in there, not piece. Roberto. We are into extra innings and standing Come on, in Gary Waters. the outfielder, Gary Waters. If there's ever been a time for a rookie, it's in and extra now the innings. First pitch. Popped up. Rios is there. One down. Way to screw it up, Gary. Way to screw it up. Norman Wallace steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gun in the inning. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. Let's and go. This will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And he'll reach nice hit, Norman Wallace. Away. Not really much the pitcher can do about he that one. He put the ball please. down in the zone please. where he wanted it, but it was just a solid piece of hitting. Goes down and gets it and pulls it into the corner for extra bases. Yeah, as you know, Dan, sometimes the hitter just wins. Now a spin and a throw back to second and a dive, but he's back in. Here's Mookie Betts. Hit back toward the mound. And there are two away now. Oh, and the tag will get him at home Ooh. plate as that keeps the ball game tied. Dang it. One hits all they get. So it was worth it. It was absolutely we worth it. Bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. Zach Rex is going to come in and pinch hit here as he's the potential winning run here in the bottom half of inning number 10. He's going to try to be a two-way player, Norman, Norman Wallace. And that's taken for strike we'll one. see how he does. 87. Average, still shy of the 220 Pretty mark. good. Four home wow, he has three pitch. And 15 RBIs. Oh, is he a two-way player? Swing and a liner. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the I inning. was afraid he wouldn't fool anybody, though. Love the and, approach uh, right there to get on base with a leadoff knock to start the bottom. I'm afraid for the top of the line up to the face and stuff. They want to end him, it uh, right now. Let's see how the manager plays this. You want to open stuff? Oh, right. Three batters. Stepping in now, A.J. Pollard, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. The winning run is at first base. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. The one and one picks. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. 
All right, we're surviving. So next to hit is Chris Taylor. He can make these fans go nuts and secure Ooh. the win if he can place a ball deep enough into the gap. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the three and two pitch. And he popped him up. And this will not He's be doing pretty decent, you know what? Considering. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into However, position not, for a single not in extra this innings. Thing. So now into the box is Corey Seager. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. Roberto Ozuna comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. That's right. Am I nervous? Here's the Maybe. first pitch. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. 16 double Possibly plays for Corey Seager this season. Let's not forget away. about that. Hit on the ground to third. One there. Make it on 17. The talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. Let's go. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. That's how you roll it. Five to four to three. A double play sends us to break. Ten innings in the books. On to the 11th. Still tied. Perfect. Let's go. Dustin May takes the mound to start the 11th inning. All right, Dustin May. Inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. You know, some guys just don't One like pulling for the 17? trigger in a low count. They don't like the ambush tactic. That is not They good. like to calibrate the speed, that maybe pick up the all. break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Hit the other way out toward right field. Calhoun has a read on it. One out. Next to stand Mike in Trout. is Mike, Mike Trout. Trout. He was Mike sat down Trout. on strikes Mike in his Trout. last at bat. 0 for 4, but you know what? I know a way he can make up for it. Here's the first pitch. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1 and 0. Wanted to get the front Stone door curveball take. on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. One zero. -oh. A ball and a strike now. One out, nobody on. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. Let's go, and Mike. He strikes out again. Right. And that's the fifth time he's punched oh, out today. Five. Certainly not been his game. Yeah, definitely Digging not. Next, Nolan Arenado. Oh, for four? In this He's oh, only man. For ten. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. That's scary. Two out, nobody on. He's also one for ten versus this guy. Hit softly on the ground to third. This guy must be just fire. Throw cleanly in Never the first, heard of him, and that ends uh, the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are tied 4-4. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And next it'll be the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Fastball called for strike two. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go Got right him. back to that spot. At the plate now is Edwin Rios. He went down on strikes last time up. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. 
Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Just hung in there on that one. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two. Bring down. him up. So stepping in is Cole Calhoun, singled in his last at bat. One ball, no strikes, the count. A ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. And the throw to first ends the end. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Got on the to throw right number on. 12, Perfect. we go. We are tied 4 4. On to the 12th frame in this one. And up next will be Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Come on, Gavin Lux. Pulled toward right center field. Calhoun moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Next to dig in, Pete Alonzo. He steps in for the fifth time today, giving him a bonus chance, if you will, to keep that hitting streak alive. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. And he buries a breaking ball that time. Good pitch, and it's 0-2. Ah, oh, come on. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Hmm. Only well, put up a fight. Now to the plate, Will Smith. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And he jumps at a change up, a swing and a miss. He looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Swung on and chopped down the line at third. Throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. Now the first pitch. Matt Beatty is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. I refuse to let them win. And it's fouled away. I will play 20 innings if I have to. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move and he tracks it down. Nice play job, for guy. the first out. Take a note. Take a note. So now to the plate, Austin Barnes. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. One ball, no strikes to count. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there, one and one. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. Big velocity up and in for a strike, too. I mean, you saw this guy flinch at the plate. He was thinking that buzzed the tower, but then to get a Bring him strike up. is tough. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Cabert Ruiz gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the bases empty. Trout has a read on it. And that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. This game's all tied at four. Blake now, Trinan takes the hill now to begin the lucky 13th inning. 2 8 Wow. They're both in the 13th inning to begin. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Gary Waters. Gary Waters. Here's the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. 
Hit back up the middle. Taylor's got it. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and Three. that's a tough play. Tim LaCastro will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Let's see what Tim LaCastro can't do. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Throw him out of his rhythm a little bit. First offering on its way. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Beat it out, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. Yes! Let's go. Tim, love, Castro. I think he caught them off guard right there, laying that bunt down, and now he sets up as the possible go-ahead run. Boom! Just beat it, too. 19.9 miles an hour. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll dive back in. In now, Mookie Betts. Runner goes for second. Throw goes over to third, and he'll be tagged out at third base on a heady play. Dang. Fernando Tatis Jr. Into the box. Fernando Tatis Jr. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. Runners off for second. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Oh my gosh. And they take the uh, lead. It's yes. gone. Let's go. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they've taken a two-run lead. Fernando, baby. Let's go. Watch. 6-4. I told you 6-4. That time, first Let's pitch go. out of the gate, he was coming unglued. Bustar Graterol, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen. Here. Wow. Just when I thought their bullpen couldn't get any more stacked. From 2.0 ERAs, they go to a 1.0. Now into the box, Mike Trout. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Strike one to start the at bat. You know what? I'll let him try. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. Now a sinker runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0 and 2. He's right there. Yeah, get there. On to first, but it's yes. too late as the first base umpire says Mike Trout beating him out. Getting him at the bag. So it's a runner at first with two men out. That's and great. next That's it'll great. be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman Nolan Arenado. Oh, yeah. He's set. Here it comes. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Trout is off of first with two away. Belted high and deep into right Let's center. Bellinger go. looking up. Gone! Heck yeah.
So it's a two run shot to right center. Home run number 39 Easy on the season clap. for him. And they double Let's him up. Go. It's eight to four. Another excellent swing That's right there. Beautiful. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Beautiful. At the plate, Gavin Lux. As he sends it on the ground to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So four runs. Oh, I do? Oh. Okay. Well. Juan Lopez, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Last half of the 13th inning set to go, and that will bring up A.J. Pollock. Reined in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Nice, nice. Two more outs. First delivery to him. Chris Taylor comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost Dang certainly it. be he's ruled still, an he's still wanted single. It. And he needed extra innings to get it, but there's his first hit of the game. And that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking. Congrats you know, on your hit streak. Beautiful things about the game of baseball, right? You go extra innings, that lineup turns over and was able to get him one extra AB. Yeah, and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it. The boys hooked him up right there. Pitching staff extended the game a little bit. One more plate appearance, and he extends the hit streak. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Betts has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. And he scurries back to first base safely. And next will be the Dodgers' cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Chopped weakly to the left. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Good. Right to him. Yep. Throw on to first is in time Let's to go. get him. And the Wizards will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series. That is the game, the folks. Game is over. Eight to four, the final this afternoon. Roberto Ozuna earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB And Yoan got a close. Let's not forget about the that. New website, the show. I mean, to save. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting Didn't team. Eight runs on 11 hits. No errors. Hmm. They left five men on base. Hmm. For the Dodgers, four runs on nine hits. No errors. They hmm. left eight men on base. Not sure. Anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed this one, I encourage you to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new or if you like the Wizards content and just want more Wizards content. We're pumping them out every weekday right here on YouTube. Or you could catch me live on Twitch. Kevin from San Diego on Twitch. Uh, Kevin the Wizard on YouTube. Um, all that good stuff is in the description below uh, on YouTube. Peace.